Have you recently discovered that your waterproof GoPro is not as waterproof as you thought, and now it doesn't turn on? Well, you're not alone, but we're gonna fix it. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. Before we get too far into the video, I will remind you guys that I use chapters along the bottom of most of my videos. If there's any part of the video that you feel is not relevant to you, or you just wanna to get to the good stuff, feel free to use those chapters to find the part of the video that you are most interested in. Recently, I went on a trip to San Diego and I had taken my GoPro Hero Max, which is a 360 camera, and also my regular GoPro Hero 8. Both cameras are reported to be waterproof. So obviously I'd wanna take my GoPro Max on our trip when we were out kayaking through the ocean because, well, it's waterproof and you can get some really great shots, as you can see with the overlay in this video of us kayaking around and you're able to capture whatever unexpected events might happen. Now, the particular area where we were kayaking is also well known to be an excellent snorkeling location. It wasn't quite warm enough for me to wanna to dive into the water and go swimming around, but I knew I had my GoPro, I knew I had my 10 foot invisible selfie stick, and in the case of the GoPro Max, it's waterproof up to 16 feet deep. <laughs> and my selfie stick only being 10 feet long, I was well within the 16 foot parameter because the camera only ended up being about six feet submerged in the water. As you can see, it worked beautifully to get into the water. It was a little bit too murky to really see anything anyway, so I quickly pulled it out of the water. I was able to finish filming for another 30 seconds or so before an unexpected event happened. Yes, the camera started going beep, 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 which normally means, hey, I've finished recording, hey, I'm powering off, or something like that. Before we get too far into this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. If you've seen some of our content already and have not subscribed, we want you to join our community. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's get back to the video. I lowered the selfie stick, I had a quick look, and it was powered off. So I turned it back on, it turned on, I hit record again, and then it went beep, beep, beep. You would imagine my surprise when I opened the side cover here and pulled the battery out to find water coming out of the camera as well. Obviously, this is a waterproof camera. It is rated as waterproof, and as long as you've got that little lock in the locked position, this should be waterproof. As I found out, it is not. So first recommendation for anybody who's looking at one of these or a GoPro Hero 5, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, or whatever else they've got in the future, GoPro has developed the waterproof outer shell. Now, most people have had good success with their GoPro being waterproof, but I always wonder, is it really? And in the case of the GoPro Max, apparently it wasn't. This camera has not powered on since that event. I'm gonna try and revive it today and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna do in order to revive it. Those of you who have seen my other video reviving a DJI drone will know exactly what I'm about to do. Those of you who haven't seen that video, you can go ahead and check that out when this one's done or this will all be a new surprise for you. So we're gonna need a couple things to make this happen. Obviously our broken GoPro, we're going to use a glass Pyrex dish. Does it need to be glass? No, it doesn't. Does it need to have polka dots? Actually, no, it doesn't. Does it need a lid? No, it doesn't. You just need a container that your GoPro will fit into like this. The other thing you will need is this, isopropyl alcohol. Now you can get this on Amazon, and this is where I got this from. I will put a link in the description to the alcohol as well as a cool Pyrex container in case you don't have one. Now the important thing here is that it is 99.9% .9 pure. You do not want to get the stuff that is 70% pure. That means that the 30% that is not pure is water. We're trying to get rid of water from a camera, not put more water in it. 99.9% .9 pure is what you're after. I'm gonna flip this up. I'm gonna remove this side cover 
which you can do by simply opening the cover and then pulling it down. You can see there's little clips there that just clip this on. That's because we need the side exposed. We do not need to wash this cover. We can set that to the side. Now I do have a battery. I've taken the battery out and I've also taken the memory stick out. So there's nothing in this camera except for camera. Then I'm going to open the alcohol and I'm gonna dump it inside the camera. Now I'm gonna do this on camera so you can see that this is for real. I'm going to fill it with alcohol. Something that I just thought of right now. Maybe I can figure out where it's leaking from. Obviously water got in somehow. Let's try dumping some in the microphone hole as well. We'll dump some in here. Now the reason I'm doing this over a bowl is because I intend to capture the alcohol so that I can continue bathing this in the stuff. So now we're gonna just keep filling this up until the GoPro is completely submerged in isopropyl alcohol. I'm gonna put the lid onto this so that I don't get it on everything. Now the important thing to note about this, we just wanna give it a good bath. Like we're filling it up, shake it around in there, dump it back out, fill it up again, kind of shake it a different way like that, and then dump it back out and then do the same, shake it around, dump it back out. We want to get this stuff pretty much everywhere. Now in my case, this is ocean water. That means it's salty. Ocean water is very corrosive and it will cause issues with corrosion and that sort of thing on the contacts. By getting it wet and then dumping it out, I'm hoping to loosen up that corrosion. The best time to do this is immediately after the camera was submerged before anything dries. Now that wasn't a possibility for me because I was in the United States and I was nowhere near isopropyl alcohol and I was leaving the next day. So this particular camera has been off due to submersion in water for about two days. And I'm hoping this works. I have no idea because I have not tried to power on the camera since this happened. So the very important thing is as soon as it happens, as soon as possible, you want to remove the battery and remove the memory card. And if you can remove this cover and then leave it. Do not try to power it on until you've had a chance to do this isopropyl bath. If you don't get a chance to do the bath early enough, well, you take your chances. The longer you wait, the harder it will be and the less likelihood of reviving it. The benefit I have and why I'm not as worried is because this isn't my camera. In fact, I borrowed this from my brother-in-law. I have two cameras, one that I own, one that he owns. Now, if you are going to risk submerging a GoPro in water, it's always better to submerge somebody else's GoPro in the water. Because then if it breaks, you can just be like, hey man, dude, sorry, I think I broke your GoPro. You can give it back to him. You get to keep your GoPro and hopefully have no problems with that one. Now I've learned my lesson and I will never, ever, ever, ever use a GoPro, no matter how waterproof it claims to be, without getting one of those additional diving covers for it because it's just not worth it. I mean, this is a $600 camera that's possibly broken now because it wasn't as waterproof as I thought. There's no visible signs of where water would be entered. Like the lens is fully intact. All of the screens are intact. Everything is fully intact. So I would think that the camera should be waterproof without any issues because it's exactly the way that GoPro designed it to be. I'm gonna keep doing this for a number of minutes. I'm gonna do it until I feel like not doing it anymore. A couple things to keep in mind. This stuff smells, it releases vapors, it evaporates quickly. That's one of the reasons we use it. Isopropyl alcohol will evaporate off very, very fast. However, you wanna make sure it doesn't pool. Like you can see there, I just dumped some out. I won't dump any more in. And then when I go like this, more will come out. We do not want to just throw a battery in here and try and power it on. It's not a good idea. It still is wet. Whether it's alcohol or water, it's still wet. You don't wanna turn on a wet electronic. When we're done, I'm going to leave this sitting like this with the battery cover down on a piece of paper towel. 
and we will leave it there overnight until the next day when it's had plenty of time for all of the alcohol to evaporate off and give us our best shot of success. You know what I wonder? I'm gonna try a secret tip here. I wanna be able to shake it just to dislodge stuff. What happens if I go like this? I'm gonna get some in here like that and then I'm gonna close this and shake it. Oh yeah, there we go. We're just gonna shake that around. Yeah, to agitate that up. So we're not filling it full and then shake it around. That way if there is any corrosion on there from salt or whatever, this will clean it right up. Scrub it off, dump it out, and then scoop it up again. Will it work? Do you think it'll work? Don't skip ahead. Post in the comments, do you think this will work? How much faith do you have in this method that I'm showing you guys? I hope it works. I don't wanna have to buy my brother-in-law a new camera. Obviously I'm, obviously I'm not gonna give him a broken camera. I mean, come on. Even though Jacob says he watches these videos, I don't think he's watching this one. So he won't even know if it does work. He won't even know that his camera stopped working. So that'll be the test. When I give it back to him, I'll see if he watches these videos by if he asks me, hey dude, what'd you do to my camera? You definitely wanna do this in a ventilated area. If you've seen my other videos where I show you my studio setup and how small this is, no! open a window, open a door, do something, cause you will start to get high off of the fumes. I've been doing this for at least five minutes now. I'm gonna do it for another five minutes or so, and then we're gonna store the camera. Okay, I am finished shaking the camera out. Now I need to just drain it. So you remember I said like this stuff, it's still just coming out of here because there's a lot in there. So you wanna shake out as much as you can. Now, some of you are gonna ask, well, won't you get alcohol on the camera lens? No, these are generally sealed up all as one big piece. So I'm not too worried about alcohol getting in there but I can definitely hear it shaking around in here now. So it has accumulated somewhere. Where exactly? I don't know. Do I care? Not really, because it will evaporate. So we're just gonna leave this sitting like this, just like that. I, I don't want it totally sealed off. I want it to have a chance to run out and evaporate. Now I'm gonna put this alcohol, this alcohol is still good. So I've found one of my wife's funnels. I'm gonna stick it in that hole. And then we're gonna try and dump this without making a mess. If you do have any debris in the bottom that comes out of the camera, obviously you don't wanna keep that. So try and leave the last little bit so that the bowl can be rinsed out and whatever. And then this is good to use for another day because it's just rinsing out water and stuff. So it's, it's okay. Any sediment will settle to the bottom, which you're gonna keep. We'll keep this for the next electronic item that I dunk in the water because it seems to be a common theme for me. I still hear stuff shaking around. And the good news is if there's alcohol stuck in here shaking around, it has definitely gone it all the way inside to all of the components within here. So we're gonna leave that sitting there just like that. I'm gonna leave it sit till tomorrow to try this out. I will see if it still makes shaking noises when I go then. If it doesn't, then we're gonna stick this battery back in. We wanna make sure it's charged up. So I'm gonna go double check that this battery is charged and ready to go. So we can just pop that in there and give it a try. It is the next day and the camera has been sitting here overnight. There is a lot of salt deposits on here. My confidence is not high, but let's give it a shake. There is no water left in here before I could hear it kind of shaking around. So it has all evaporated. It is time for the moment of truth. Battery is in. It's not turning on. <laughs> all that, this whole video. <laughs> and it didn't turn on. When I stick the battery in, it starts making a buzzing sound. All is not lost. What does this mean? Well, it means that if you get it wet from salt water in the ocean, you might have to do the part 
to repair, which we're going to do next. This is currently a brick. It's a paperweight. It is worth nothing to me. So we're going to open it up. Now, I'm not going to do that in this video. I will do a new video where I show you opening this thing up and scrubbing it down properly because I can, I can see salt deposits on here. Like I can see corrosion buildup in places. That's natural. It's expected when you've got salt water in here. Now, this repair has worked on fresh water electronics. So if you have dropped this in a lake or a river, this trick will work. I promise you it will work. It's your best shot at working. But if it does not, stay tuned for the part two video where I will be pulling this apart, scrubbing it down and seeing if we can revive this camera before I throw it in the garbage. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.